Hello crafty friends! Today I want to show you how to create this pull tab slider switch card. And this card can be used for a lot of occasions. I'm going to use this to ask some people if they are interested to sell their home because the home is um, left alone and nobody is living there so we want to try our luck. I stamped all the images and now I'm going to color them in using my Copic markers. I stamped them with Memento Tuxedo Black and I also used my Misty tool because there were some images I needed to stamp more than one time. All the color combinations I'm using, I'm using for all images. So all the browns are the same. Probably all the blues are the same, all the warm grays are the same, and so on. Because um, this is a pretty colorful card, so I didn't want to take out more markers than I needed. And to save some time, I'm coloring from dark to the middle color to the lightest. and. As the images are very small, this works great. The green images now you are seeing, I am not going to use later, but as I started, I didn't know how many images I would need, so I didn't want to come back and stamp and color again. So I decided to stamp and color more images that I probably would need. And I'm doing here a little bit like, um, yeah, I don't know how to call it, but um, I'm not coloring just one image, but I'm coloring all the parts with the same color at one time. Now that all my images are almost finished, I'm then going to use my dies to cut the images out. And I'm using a craft knife to cut out the little um, heart on the door on um, this lilac house so there the LED could shine later. Now I die cut also. Um, card panel and some um, hill, hill borders from MFT and I'm now figuring out how to cut the pieces and I already laid down the images and now I need to ink blend my card panels. I'm using here Twisted Citron for the grassy parts and broken china for my sky background. Sorry, sometimes I'm really out of frame. I don't know what it is. Here, this is just a piece of paper um, where I cut a strip out. And now I'm creating here my um, simple circuit. Um, this copper tape is now over the cut out strip. It's totally fine because later we will cut through the copper tape. I'm using here double sided tape to tape down my battery. And I'm always using my bone folder to press the copper tape good to the paper. And between the copper tape and battery I'm taping down a piece of foam tape because sometimes if um, the copper tape is too hard pressed on the battery it may could touch the plus side and the minus side at the same time and then the circuit won't work. Now you saw me 
placing the LED to the wrong sides and the LED is red shining but now it is. Now I'm using some copper tape pieces to tape on top of my LED. This helps me to get a good connection between LEDs and battery. And now I'm cutting apart the copper tape and folding the pieces so later our mechanism will work good. Using a piece of copper tape to put on top to test if everything is still working. This is just a small piece of paper, strip of paper, and on top I'm taping copper tape at the back side. I'm using double-sided tape and now I'm folding it back and forward and back and forward until I get a star shape. I hope you can see it now. I tried to film this so you can see it better. And on the left last part I'm using my copper tape to get really good connection. Now you can see the little star shape or X shape and now this piece have to put down between the copper tape and now you can push it forward and backward. At the back of my um, star shape thing I'm taping down a pull tab and now the recipient can pull from the side of the card and then the LED will shine. I'm using here double sided tape and um, adhesive to tape this back piece on my card and now the card the mechanism is finished and now it's time to tape my card panel on top of the LED mechanism and herefore I'm using lots of foam tape you know me I always try to hide the thickness of the card so the sky background is with one layer of foam tape the grass hill parts are with two layers of foam tape and so on and I think this card design with the houses and so makes it really good and really dimensional if you use lots of foam tape and I think it makes it really realistic here on my phone you can see that I took a picture on how I laid down my houses and all the images and now it's just time to add them to the card. Sometimes I'm taping them down with foam tape, sometimes just with regular adhesive. Um, it depends on how it fits into the card. Now you can see me replacing or taking off the greenhouse because I didn't like the green color combination and now I was um, trying to fix the mistake without needing to stamp in color again. Maybe you saw the sentiment already stamped but I didn't like how it was stamped so I decided to stamp it again and herefore I made partial stamping and also cut the sentiment apart so I could create my own sentiment. This green piece of paper is so the recipient could see at the first time that there is a pull tab mechanism and as it is for German people I decided to write it with my own handwriting and now you can see the card is all finished 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and here you can see some more projects I created with Chibitronics and Lawn Fun and I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Bye!